Hi, I'm Carl Johan Jonsson, and in this video we're going to look at how to assign material properties to the bodies in a SOLIDWORKS simulation study. On the left in the simulation tree, at the top, we have our bodies folder. If you expand that, you have a structure of all the bodies in your CAD model, both solid and surface bodies. To assign material properties to a body, you right-click it and select Apply Edit Material. This will launch the Materials window. To the left, if we scroll to the top and collapse the folder, you will see uh, different default material databases that comes with SOLIDWORKS. If we expand SOLIDWORKS materials, we have a number of different material categories. And if we expand steel, for example, we see that we have a number of different materials to choose from. To apply material properties to the body that we've chosen, we can select uh, alloy steel. We see the list with material properties. Uh, we will return for that for a closer look in a moment. And then we click apply and close. To the left in the simulation tree, you can now see that the material was assigned as it's shown in brackets. That, as well as the green check mark here on the icon, indicating that a material is assigned to this body. If we want to assign the same material to multiple bodies at once, we can select them in the tree by holding the control button and then right clicking and selecting apply edit material. If we want to assign the same material to all bodies at once, we can right click the folder itself and select apply material to all bodies. Let's go back to the materials window and see how we can change and add our own materials. To the left, if we collapse the folders, the white folders, never mind the green one for the moment, uh, are the ones that comes with SOLIDWORKS. Each folder is its own database file. We can see where it's stored if we hover over it. These can't be changed, however, if we want to make changes to material properties or create our own materials, we have to do that in a blue database. These are editable and you can create new ones by right clicking in the gray area and selecting new library. Once you have a blue folder, you can add categories by right clicking it and selecting new category. Let's try that here. I right click my custom materials and select a new category call it steel. Once you have one or more categories, you can add materials. You can do this either by right clicking a category and selecting new material or copying an existing material and pasting it under the category of your choice. Once you have a material in your blue folder, you can change the properties of it. So let's create a new material. First, you have to name it. Let's name it test steel for now. Then you get to select the type of uh, material model. For linear static studies, you only have linear elastic isotropic and linear elastic orthotropic, where the orthotropic material model can have different properties in different directions. The red material properties are the ones that are required by SOLIDWORKS to have a value. The blue ones could be used in the current type of study depending on if we use specific functions, for example temperature loads for the thermal expansion coefficient. The black ones will not be used for this type of study. To save the changes, you click Save. And if we haven't filled in all the red material properties, it will prompt us to do so. So let's give the yield strength a value. Three hundred megapascals will do for now. Then click save again. It saved. This is the basics 
for how to apply and create materials for your simulations in SOLIDWORKS. As a final note, although there are many predefined materials in SOLIDWORKS, material data is considered user input. As such, you, the user, is always responsible for making sure the material data is correct for your analysis. Thank you for watching. Bye.